Welcome back. In this section, we're going to walk you through the necessary steps to install the Regate SQL tool belt over our uh, SSMS instance that we have just installed. So the checklist for this section, it's pretty easy. We're going to install the SQL tool belt. We're going to activate it. And then, just as a matter of a test, we're going to use SQL Compare to create a testing environment and a production environment as a replica of the schema of the Acme Dev database that we just provisioned. So let's go to my virtual machine one more time. Now, under cool stuff, <laughs> we have um, the SQL Tool Belt installer, which is right here. I just got to go ahead and double click on it. Good. Let's go through the tools to install because I mean there are a few things that we can just modify to make it a little bit faster. So SQL prompt, let's just install it for SQL Server Management Studio. We have not talked about Visual Studio, so there's probably no need to install that as well. And if we scroll down, <coughs> we probably want to do the same for SQL change automation. And just stick for SQL Server Management Studio only. Are we happy with this? We just print continue. We're happy with the license agreement. We accept. We're happy with the default folder for the installation. Ready to install. We need to close SQL Server Management Studio. I'll just go ahead and close it right now. Nice. The installation for the SQL Toolbar went fine. 18 items were successfully installed. We can hit finish and we will need to restart our virtual machine. As we've seen, it will, uh, it will take just a few seconds. So, All right, the machine has restarted. So let's just hit SSMS and make sure that the toolbar was successfully installed. So again, I'm going to just look for SSMS, Management Studio. Just open that up. All right, here we are asked to log in in order to uh, either start the trial period or just activate the license. I can just go ahead and use my account. Sorry for that. Com. Sweet. I can close here, which is licensed, and now we can go ahead <coughs> and connect to the SQL Server instance. Here we go. Connect. You see here we have a bunch of updates that are already available. I don't recommend doing that, but I mean, for the sake of this video, I will just defer the updates to next week so that we can just move forward. Remind me next week. Now, as a test for the SQL tool belt, we would like to take the development environment and just use SQL Compare to create a testing environment and a production environment. I will not explain how SQL Compare is meant to be used. We have a university video for that. I will just, uh, just go and uh, take it from there. So schema Compare, set as a source. As a target, I'm just going to go ahead and select a new database. You can call it Acme Testing. Go ahead <coughs> and open up Compare and Deploy with SQL Compare. I will just be happy with the default values for uh, the authentication and the options. Let's go Compare now. It's OK. And obviously, the expectation is that besides the system tables, <coughs> we will have a bunch of new things to deploy. Defer to next week as well. I will just select them all. Hit Deploy. Happy to deploy using SQL Compare. I don't really need to recompare after the deployment. Just trust the technology. 
and I can just go ahead and deploy now over our SQL Server uh, Express instance. Everything is nice and done. And if it worked, by refreshing, we should now be able to see the new environment. So I will go ahead and create another one. You don't have to see this. I mean, it's going to be the same procedure, only with underscore production. Uh, I will see you in the next section.